Welcome to installing the Houdini engine for Unity Lesson 2. So what we need to do now is actually uh, launch Unity but create a new project and we can get the files all situated so that we have the Houdini engine inside of Unity. So what I'm going to do is I'll hold down the Alt button and then click on the Unity icon. This will bring up the project wizard so I can create a new project. So we're just going to call this Houdini engine video project. There we go. All right, so I'm going to create that. Let Unity do its thing. All right. So what we need to do now is we need to go find the uh, files that include all the Houdini plugin code. Okay. And so to do that, we just need to launch a window and we need to navigate to our C drive. So if we go to this PC, if you're using Windows 8, or your C drive if you're using Windows 7. So then we go into Program Files x86 because we are using the 32-bit version. Then you need to find the Side Effects software folder. And then find the version of Houdini that you're currently using. You can see that I've been using this for quite a while now. And so I'm going to launch 376. Right? It's very important that you get the correct version because the code or the plugin works with a specific version inside of Unity. So when you've opened up that version folder, you'll notice that there's an engine folder inside of that. And that is where that Unity Houdini engine actually lives. So what we can do is jump into its asset folder here. And we're just going to grab all these folders that we have for this. Okay. And I'm just going to drag those into my assets directory in my new project here. And if all goes well, that should actually install the Houdini engine. Once all the resources get imported and all the code gets compiled. All right, so we're still waiting for Unity to think about stuff. All right, so you notice now that once we finish compiling and importing, we have the last debug message that says underlying Houdini core version 13.0.376. This means everything is working. If you didn't get an error, you probably have to uninstall previous versions of uh, Houdini. That way the licensing can actually find the correct Houdini version. Okay. All right. So now that we've got that all up and running, let's uh, give this a test whirl. So I'm going to open up the OTLs and go into the scan folder. All right actually the samples folder <clears throat> and I'm going to pull out the staircase tool now this actually comes with the Houdini engine and they have a tutorial on their website um, about its usage um, and how it's relatively built okay so let's actually just drag that into our hierarchy view here and there you go so now we actually have a staircase that has all its collisions and that just verifies that the engine is up and running and we can actually update this to add more staircase height, more floor height, less floor height, stair width, stuff like that. So it allows you to update things really, really quickly. All right. So that is everything we needed to know for lesson two. Now that we have the whole Houdini engine up and running inside of Unity. Thanks so much.